Thank you for coming to the St. Cletus production of Willy Wonka Jr. Please take a moment to sign your cell phone. Enjoy our show.
Indigo Granny Joe, cabbage soup, every day. Nothing but cabbage soup. Cheer me up, Charlie. Tell me, what's the news? Swatka's got a new bar out. Close the book, I'm out of ace. Mallow, it's flavor shifters. Flavor shifters, my. Papa, what's the latest cap count? 1,249,976 perfectly installed toothpaste caps, Charlie. Do you think I might work at the toothpaste factory one day? Let's hope not, Charlie. What kind of positive thinking is that? Charlie's up with Mr. Walker and chocolate bars. Now, Grandpa Joe, don't you play with your own happy dreams of candy? Charlie's from a long line of Swiss candy men and women. But Walker hasn't hired anyone since Slugless Spy stole his candy for the recipe. Walker was so angry. He got their own workers in. I'm sorry, but you all must go home. And he goes against the factory forever. But Mr. Wonka still makes candies. I can tell him on my way to school. Yes, but no one comes in and no one comes out. Shadow workers. Maybe they are dead. Who knows? Grandpa Joe, you're going to give me Charlie nightmares again. What did he say? She's making bats of gin. We're playing gin. I am. Charlie, run out and see if anyone's done with the newspaper. OK, Dad, we we'll have to feed Grandpa Joe. Here you are, Mom. Cabbage soup. I thought we were playing candy. You see these kids here? They all gather around Charlie's house every day with a shiny nickel apiece in order to purchase candy from the local candy man. The only kid here with no nickel is Charlie.
Mr. Willy Wonka has decided to allow five children to tour his factory and receive a lifetime supply of Wonka chocolate. Tour the factory? A lifetime supply of chocolate? Beyond! Five golden tickets have been hidden among five million ordinary candy bars. The finders of these golden tickets will win the chocolate and the tour. Pass a million to one shot. The tickets could be anywhere. How exciting. I wonder if any of them have been found yet. Charles, Charles, can you imagine winning? Winning the factory? Meeting Mr. Wonka? Seeing for yourself on those undead zombie workers. Eating a lifetime supply of chocolate. Eating a lifetime supply of chocolate. When the clock are ready, Charlie, you better hurry. You'll be late for school. It's back to the twists and turns of toothpaste for me. Goodbye, Mr. Bucket. Goodbye, Mrs. Bucket. Charlie, remember, we may be starving, we may be poor, but the Bucket family always thinks positive. Red and purple ink, Charlie. Purple ink. Pop. So Mr. Bucket went back to the toothpaste bag. Although little Charlie Bucket was off to school. But on the way, he heard some very exciting news. Hey, Charlie! Did you hear? Some kid found the first golden ticket. Already? When? Just now, look! Hello, oh, everyone. Oh. This is Phineas Trump, direct TV link to Frankfurt, Germany. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Walk bar sales are up to over 50,000 bars an hour, and this just in. The first golden ticket has just been found. Oh, and here's the family right now. Mr. Drew, Mr. Drew, maybe have a word. Her name is Glue. G-L-O-O-B. Long distance elephant by horses. Tell us about the ticket. Yeah, I know why they're supposed to post their horses and find us golden ticket. He told us got me about it. That was supposed to post it. I'm afraid not to find one. You could say you've been training him every day since he was a budgie budgie. With born. Training? Yeah, for as long as that Glossus has you from training from morning to night, eating all kinds of foods. Anyway, after days of shelling chocolate, one of my factory 
I was finally found a blasted golden ticket. I let her take the lucky piece of chocolate home to her 17 kids. Oh, generous. Daddy, now he's being sarcastic. I want him fired, fired, fire, 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 fire. This is Phineas trouble. the sweetness turns sour. I'm afraid so, Charlie. In fact, they closed it forever. I don't know how to tell your mom, Charlie. Things were tough when we had the job, but now... Don't worry, Dad. Like Grandpa Joe always says, think positive. Violet Beauregard. Violet, which junior goes so loudly? Remember when therapist said about X and now? 
Oh, I can't, Ma. You flap your jaws just as much as I do. So, Violet, tell us about the ticket. I'm a gamer normal. But when I heard about Wong's contest, I laid off the gun and switched game bars. Now, of course, I'm right back out of bed. In fact, I've been working on this piece for over three months solid. I've been here set by my best friend, Cornelia Fitzman. Hi, Cornelia. Listen to this. That sound you loosen. Listen some more.
the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory, where history is about to be made. You are all going to see the chocolate genius of the century. And here he is right now, Mr. Willy Wonka!
So do I mean. Whoa! Unfortunately, my legal advisors have forbidden us making even the tiniest taste. Come along, I have more exciting things to show you. I want the whole world 
What happens to every other bad guy? That particular shoe leads to the garbage incinerator. But don't worry, there's a chance it was not lit today. A chance? Yes, well, generally, the garbage incinerator is only lit every other day. I'm not quite sure if today was a burn day. Guess we'll find out. It's a shame, Billy. Really. She was so deliciously bossy. A real natural captain of energy. Well, outwards and onwards, backwards and forwards, off we go. Please exit this way. I'll be with you in a moment. Yes, yes, a lifetime supply of chocolate. 
Each of the children will receive their chocolate. Other than that, this day has been a total waste of time and chocolate. Good day, Charlie Bunker, and goodbye! Um, goodbye, Mr. Wonka. Mr. Wonka, I don't deserve a lifetime supply of candy. You see, I tasted the fizzy lifting drink and it broke the rules. And I'm very sorry. Thank you for a wonderful day and tour. It was better than Christmas. Bless you, Charlie, you did it! You did it! Now, see here, Wonka. It was my idea to try to fizzy. I created this entire contest with one purpose in mind find the perfect person to make new candy dreams come true. I don't understand. This was a test of character, Charlie. You see, I created rooms that would tempt each of our golden takeaways. You, Charlie, did something quite remarkable. You tasted the fizzy liquid, gave it to temptation, and yet you admitted your guilt. But the other kids? Ah, yes. Each of the children will receive the ruby prize. The lifetime supply of chocolate. That's the ruby prize? What's the real prize? Charlie, do you love my factory? It's the most wonderful place in the entire world. I'm pleased to hear you say that, because from this day forward, it's yours. What do you need? I need an heir, Charlie, so I'm giving you my factory. What about, you want me to run this entire factory? What about my mom and dad and Grandpa Joe and- They can live here too. I'd love to. I'd positively love to. Now Charlie makes everything she bakes Satisfying and delicious Talk about childhood dishes You can even eat the dishes Okay. 